the ultimate happy bait mobile. Alright, so finally down to the finishing touches on the 2014 happy bait mobile. I just got this last thing to do with the rod holders. And as you can see, this is high quality marine grade PVC, high quality marine grade hose clamp. What I'm going to do to secure these last things is I just take this, put the hose clamp around, I go back through the metal carton. Now, clamp this thing down. Let me show you how you do this before I load up for my happy bait run today. If I wasn't happy baiting, like usually around the you know, first week of November when happy bait's over and all that, real simple. Take this, pull it up, wiggle it out. I'm not happy baiting. Take it, I put it in, wiggles in like that. Now I'm happy baiting. Alright dudes, real quick, going over all the equipment, essential stuff to do your happy baiting and pre-putt action. Now check out this net. You see this net? Small mesh, quarter inch mesh, little cheap, small net. Real easy. There's a reason for that. You want to be mobile. Now, I don't know, I'm taking mobile to a new level over here. So I take the net, put it in my bag. Here. There's a reason for that. I don't want it wiggling around. I don't want a lot of weight in the back of the in the back of the thing. So I put it in this bag. All right. So I got my small, light, quarter-inch mesh net that I can take around with me real easy. And more importantly, I can put it right in here. Net. Certified five gallon bucket. Let's get the sand out of there. What you want to do is you want to put your beach towel in first. The reason you want to put your beach towel in first is that will keep everything from shaking around. See that? Nice and tight. One of the benefits of having just a small orange tackle box like that. Real simple. It's inside the five gallon bucket. Uh oh. Epic fail. See if I got enough juice in this thing to make it too cold. bigger clamp because it's a bigger PVC. Now those other two little ugly sticks had the black thing on the bottom but there was no flare on them. They fit in those other PVCs. The other ones had a little flare on the bottom that didn't fit in those PVCs so we upgraded our PVC to a bigger size. Which means we needed a bigger clamp. But rest assured I'm going to be ready here in about five minutes to do a little bit of pre-pot action. Put the clamp on. There we go. 
This is ultimate preparation for happy bait. I mean, you want to get it down where you can be mobile. You want to get it down where you can stay on them. You don't want to be the guy on the beach that's watching them go by. You want to be the guy on the beach that's going with them. So you got to be mobile. And, uh... Specifically, specifically designed to get lunkers in people's faces. Key to that is being mobile when it comes to happy bait. So, let's make it easy, make it quick. Got the net in the bag. I want to have it in something that's yeah, fit in nice and easy, nice and small. All right, then you got your five gallon bucket, put your tackle. And remember, you got your beach towel in there. It's always good to have a beach towel because when you get to the beach, you need a place to put your bait rod. You got your rod you fish with, and you got your rod you catch bait with, and one you're going to leave on the shore. So it's nice to have the beach towel you can lay your rod down on it. So, uno, dos, and there you have it, the ultimate happy bait mobile, two rods, cast net, five gallon bucket, tackle box, ready to rock and roll, run that dog with Captain Jeff, hold on, I'm going to certify, I'm going to certify my five gallon bucket, this will be one of the buckets. This will be one of the buckets that I'm using. Like that. Bam! Happy bait. And on that dog with Captain Jeff. What do you guys think? You think this thing's gonna end up working? Or you think I should throw it away?